I'm not a lawyer, but I just read the 13 page court doc regarding Simon Gobadia, Portia Williams' husband. His request for citizenship and child. Let me recap the details for you. He overstays his visa and was declared deportable in June of 1986. He comes back to America on a six month visa and he again overstays his visa. In September of 1987, he gets arrested for bank and credit card fraud and he pleads guilty to a felony offense. In January 1989, he's arrested for unauthorized use of a vehicle and again arrested in May of 1990 for fraud. After that, immigration begins the removal process of Simon, but by January 1991, Simon has committed credit card fraud again. My husband didn't have red flags. He, did. he had red flags to other people. I'll find y'all, y'all partner, Keep y'all standards high, okay? And if it's someone that's showing red flags, just leave, okay? Period, period. I don't care, it could be the smallest red flag. You are not meant to fix them. Walk away. It appears that Portia Williams may face legal consequences for her husband's actions, less than two years after their marriage. Simon Gabadia is now being accused of fraudulent activities. And there are claims that authorities suspect Portia was aware of his actions and attempted to conceal them. The situation has escalated to criminal proportions, with Simon facing potential deportation and a permanent ban. Portia finds herself deeply entangled in this ordeal, suggesting that she may be dealing with the repercussions for quite some time, as the situation takes a turn for the worse. This is making me wonder, so do y'all think Miss Portia has returned back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta to get them coins because there's trouble in paradise. So according to the article, Mr. Simone, Simon, whatever his name is, he was deported from the U.S. back in 1992, I believe it said, for some illegal activities and he re-entered the U.S. and applied for residency under a false name. Anyway, he went to go apply for citizenship. They found out all his lies and everything is crumbling. Portia Williams and her husband are in serious trouble now that the police are on the case. Rumors are swirling that Portia may be implicated in her husband Simon Gabadia's alleged criminal activities, suggesting she may have assisted him in concealing his actions. The situation is escalating quickly, and it looks like things are about to get even more complicated. This situation is undeniably overwhelming. But many aren't sympathetic towards Portia because they had warned her about Simon's questionable character. Despite warnings, Portia allowed her emotions to cloud her judgment. Interestingly, Simon's ex-wife, Fallon Gabadia, who happened to be a friend of Portia's, might be finding some satisfaction in this dramatic turn of events. Just a few months prior to Fallon joining the show, Portia had ended her relationship with her baby daddy and former fiancé, Dennis McKinley. She discovered that he had been unfaithful to her multiple times, even while she was pregnant with their child. For those who might need a refresher, Portia and Simon initially met while Simon was still married to her friend, Fallon. Fallon first joined the show in 2020 as a friend and according to reports at the time, Fallon is known around Atlanta as a socialite and her husband Simon Gabadia is paid like Bentleys and private jets paid as for how she fits into the group while right now she's friends with Portia and Shamia. The rest of the ladies seem to like her, and she might accompany the girls on their upcoming trip to the Carolinas. According to Fallon, Simon was the one who encouraged her to join the show, believing it would be beneficial for her spiritual well-being. However, many found this reasoning perplexing, as the Real Housewives franchise is not typically associated with spiritual growth. Some speculate that Simon may have meant it would be beneficial for her personal growth, though his intentions remain unclear. It does raise questions about whether Simon sought fame or some other motive, given his encouragement for Fallon to join the show, especially since he was already financially well off. Regardless, Simon and Portia grew closer during their time on the show, despite Portia still recovering from her breakup with Dennis. Suspicion heightened when Simon and Fallon quietly split just a month after the premiere of season three of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Simon then officially filed for divorce on January 15, 2021, citing irreconcilable differences, a common reason among celebrities. However, just a week later, he withdrew the filing, stating that he and Fallon were attempting to reconcile and were committed to fighting for their relationship. However, this attempt seemed short-lived because only five days later, he filed for divorce again, citing ongoing issues. Despite this, 
Portia continued to deny rumors of their split, insisting that their relationship was strong and dismissing those who speculated otherwise as miserable. I'm gonna ask you this and feel free to talk about it or for as much as you would like. There are rumors right now uh, around your marriage with your husband, Simon, and what's going on with it. Do you want to address whether you guys have split up or you're still together? Would you like to talk about that? Sure. Um, yeah, that came, that rumor came from a miserable person. So, but anyway, I'll entertain it only because it's a, it's a, it's a valid question. Okay. Uh, no, Simon and I, we go through our, our marital issues just like everyone else. Um, you know, everybody has their own shit. So, I mean, whether we unfollow and we follow back or we unfollow and then we follow back and we delete our stuff or whatever the case is, uh, just let us go through our stuff. Indeed, the truth has a way of coming to light and eventually Portia had to confront it. Simon released a statement on Instagram confirming their separation, stating, After a year and a half together fallen and I have made the mutual decision to end our marriage despite our willingness to be transparent, we respectfully ask for privacy at this time. Once the announcement was made, Portia quickly reached out to Simon via direct message offering her support. She claimed to have heard rumors about Fallon cheating on him with another man, which prompted her to reach out. However, it does seem puzzling that she would contact Simon instead of Fallon, especially considering Fallon was her friend. Simon wasted no time in making advances towards Portia, expressing his desire to see her during his next visit to Atlanta. While Portia was receptive to the idea, she insisted on confirming his divorce from Fallon before proceeding further. Simon complied, sending her the paperwork, and they quickly began heating things up once it was confirmed. Less than three weeks after Simon and Fallon announced their divorce, Portia went public with her new relationship, introducing her man to the world. In doing so, she asserted that she and Fallon had never been friends, distancing herself from any association with her ex-husband's former partner. She wrote our relationship began a month ago, Yes, we are crazy in love, I know it's fast, but we are living life each day to its fullest for all of you. That need facts. I get the optics, but Simon filed for divorce from a previous marriage in January. I had nothing to do with their divorce filing that's between the two of them, Felon and I are not friends, and Simon's divorce has been settled. Relationship is a positive loving step forward in everybody's lives. It does indeed raise eyebrows, especially considering Fallon was initially introduced on the show as Portia's friend. The timeline seems murky, as Portia claimed to have slid into Simon's DMs the same day he announced his divorce. Yet she later stated they had been dating for a month when she made their relationship public. Getting engaged after just one month is already quite fast, but doing so with someone who was recently married to your friend adds another layer of complexity. The situation certainly seems questionable, and the rapid progression of their relationship may leave some wondering about the true nature of their connection. It's understandable why many, including fellow housewife Marlo Hampton, would feel uneasy about the relationship, especially considering Simon was still legally married to Portia's friend at the time. During an Instagram Live session, Marlo expressed her doubts about the authenticity of the relationship, echoing the sentiments of many fans who found the situation difficult to believe. It's real. You know, y'all know I didn't hold with Portia. Portia like, fine, I don't think that shit ain't real. But guess what? Good storyline. I just don't believe her coming from the household she was raised in, a Christian family, her grandfather, that she would literally go and do something like that. Because baby, if I ever brought about my man and she dated my man, that's like me dating Dennis. Simon's past relationships raise significant concerns. With three divorces and a history of infidelity, it's understandable why many would question his suitability as a partner. Additionally, his track record of having multiple children with different women adds another layer of complexity to the situation. These factors, combined with the speed at which his relationship with Portia progressed, contribute to the skepticism surrounding their union. Fallon's reaction is completely understandable given the circumstances. While she didn't speak publicly about the situation extensively, the few times she did address it caused significant drama. One notable instance was when she expressed disbelief that Portia, whom she had never seen as the type to steal someone's man, would become involved with Simon while he was still legally married to her. 
This added more tension to an already complicated situation, saying, do I feel like I trusted her enough? Sure, yeah. I didn't think she was the type of woman who would come in and plot on a woman's husband. Absolutely not. I did not get that at all from her at the time. She also claimed that Simon had told her while they were married that Portia had slept with one of his cousins for Rolls Royce. She said he told me that she slept with his cousin for the Rolls Royce she has. So I just don't understand how is it that you... I'm not even going to say leave a happy home because like I said, we had our things. But how is it you for divorce from me for a woman you used to talk so much mess about and for someone who slept with someone from your family members. Fans were eagerly anticipating how this new storyline would unfold in the upcoming season of the show. However, Fallon chose not to subject herself to the drama and decided to leave the show before the new season premiered. Despite speculation, she denied leaving due to fear, asserting that her decision to exit had been in the works prior to the unfolding situation. This departure added another layer of intrigue to the evolving narrative. She said, I wasn't running away, she noted, and I don't think any of my followers who truly knew me would believe that I would run away for the show, for that. I dealt with a lot of harsh things on the show, Williams recalls to people, and I've been there at the beginning of every season to film with the camera on. So no, this had nothing to do with that. She also said, I had already decided that it was the time for me to step away at least six months before I told any of the execs what I was going to do and long before I even met my now husband. She says, I was turning 40, I was hitting my 10 year mark on the show, and I really just had to reassess where I was and what I wanted totally out of my life. So that's where the decision came from. Despite warnings from fans, Portia was deeply in love and proceeded to marry Simon in November, 2022. They celebrated with two lavish ceremonies, one in Nigeria, Simon's home country, and another in the US. Their relationship seemed to be thriving, with Portia even disclosing that they were actively trying for a baby, which would be Simon's sixth child and Portia's second. It seems Portia is making her return to the new season of Real Housewives, but with a significant change, she'll be using her new married name, Portia Gabadia, instead of Portia Williams. This decision reflects her commitment to her new relationship with Simon and marks a fresh chapter in her life. Fans will likely be eager to see how this new dynamic unfolds on the show. Who said that? Portia Williams coming back to Real Housewives of Atlanta? That's false. But Portia Gravadia is in the building. <laughs> see y'all? It sounds like the situation with Portia's husband has taken a turn for the worse even more so than his involvement with her friend shortly after their divorce announcement. Now, there's a messy ordeal with the US government that could potentially lead to his deportation. This is certainly a serious and concerning development that may prompt Portia to reconsider her involvement with the show once again. It's important to clarify that marriage to a US citizen doesn't automatically guarantee immunity from legal issues especially if there are allegations of fraudulent activity surrounding the acquisition of residency permits. If Simon obtained his temporary residency permit through questionable means, it could indeed jeopardize his immigration status, regardless of his marital status. These are serious allegations that could have significant consequences for him and his family. Simon's troubles stretch back to the 80s, and while he may have thought he'd evaded consequences, Uncle Sam had other plans. He's facing a slew of charges that make the prospect of obtaining U.S. citizenship seem improbable. Court documents revealed his checkered past, including numerous failed attempts to become a naturalized citizen. Despite being informed of the reasons for his denials, his history of fraud and identity manipulation, Simon continued to pursue citizenship, adding to his legal woes. The documents revealed Simon's arrival in the U.S. in August 1982 on a visitor's visa, However, trouble arose when he overstayed his welcome while attempting to legally extend his stay. Faced with the looming threat of deportation, he chose to depart voluntarily, packing his bags and leaving in December 1985, about three and a half years after his visa had expired. Simon couldn't resist the allure of the US and returned just six months later, this time with another visitor's visa valid for six months. However, History repeated itself as he overstayed once more. But this time, things took a darker turn as Simon got involved in bank and credit fraud, landing himself in hot water with the authorities. He didn't deny the charges, owning up to them and pleading guilty. 
Despite his prior troubles, you might expect someone in Simon's position to lay low. But in January of 1989, he found himself in cuffs once more, this time for unauthorized use of a vehicle. Fast forward four months to May 19, 1990, and Simon was back in trouble again, this time facing fraud charges. It seemed a trouble followed him like a shadow, with his thick immigration file doing little to deter him from diving headfirst into felonies. He appeared to be collecting felonies like infinity stones. Despite facing immigration scrutiny after his fraud fiasco in May 1990, Simon remained undeterred from engaging in more shady deals. Just eight months later, in January 1991, he was back at it again, pulling off another credit card scam. To add to his troubles, in April 1991, an immigration judge ordered his deportation, with Simon being physically removed and deported from the U.S. by March 1992. Back in 88, Simon slyly switched up his identity and slipped into the Special Agricultural Worker SAW program under a different name. Interestingly, he conveniently omitted his rap sheet when applying. This scheme proved successful, and he obtained a temporary resident permit, which later upgraded to permanent resident status. Adding to his luck, he received his shiny permanent residency card in April 1992, just three weeks after his other identity faced deportation. With this golden ticket in hand, he re-entered the U.S. without a hitch. Until December 2016, Simon had enjoyed relative stability. When he decided to pursue naturalization, he likely felt confident, having spent around 20 years in the U.S. with a seemingly clean record, at least on paper. The government didn't mince words. They gave Simon a resounding no and rejected his application. They pointed to his unlawfully obtained temporary resident status as the reason for their decision. It must have been a harsh reality check for Simon, who likely believed he had found a loophole to keep himself safe for years. Despite this setback, he remained relentless and didn't throw in the towel just yet. Four years later, in December 2020, Simon made another attempt at naturalization, even making it to the interview stage. He likely had his hopes up, thinking the second time would be the charm. However, the government remained steadfast, ruling him out again due to his questionable permanent residency status. This time, there was a clear reason behind their decision, the sneaky maneuver with the SAW program. By using a different identity, Simon had tricked his way into temporary residency, conveniently omitting his colorful past and legal troubles. Mr. Simon's persistence is truly remarkable. Despite numerous setbacks, he continued to pursue his goal of naturalization. In October 2022, just a month before tying the knot with Portia, he once again requested a hearing to challenge the denial. Despite the government's firm stance and doubling down on their decision, Simon refused to accept defeat. In March 2023, Simon made another attempt, filing yet another plea to overturn the denial and grant him naturalization. Once again, the answer was a resounding no. Simon had ample opportunities to reconsider his approach, but it seems he either neglected to seek the guidance of an immigration lawyer or was poorly advised by his legal team. Regardless, the situation appeared destined for disaster, given the repeated rejections. When applying for citizenship, it's common knowledge that officials will thoroughly scrutinize your residency history. So it's hardly surprising that the government uncovered Simon's identity switch and his dishonest omissions about his criminal record. It's evident he was attempting to deceive the government. Consequently, his aspirations of citizenship are all but dashed, and deportation looms as a real possibility at this juncture. Simon's troubles have undoubtedly added to Portia's distress. Rumor has it she's absolutely devastated by the situation. And who can blame her? Just as they were discussing expanding their family, this bombshell drops. With another season of Real Housewives on the horizon, Porsche surely doesn't want this drama to provide ammunition for the other ladies. However, there's potentially even more for her to worry about. According to an insider, the government has allegedly launched an investigation into the situation, with Porsche allegedly being questioned by the police. The insider reports that the police are now working alongside immigration services to investigate Simon's alleged double life and identity fraud. Additionally, another source suggests that authorities suspect Portia knew about her husband's fake identities and may have been aiding him in covering up the situation rather than fulfilling her obligations as a citizen by reporting it to the appropriate authorities. 
As Simon faces the possibility of deportation, the charges, if any, against Portia remain uncertain. However, the anticipation for the upcoming season of Real Housewives is palpable, and viewers, including myself, are eager to see how this unfolds. Fans have been expressing their shock and leaving all sorts of comments, eagerly awaiting the drama that is sure to unfold. Do you think Portia will be okay if she ends up in jail? Drop your thoughts in the comments below.